This is the Intelligent Human Voice Podcast Network. I'm your host, the Pat Man, from the Bay to LA and beyond, baby. That's right. Today we're talking about being a Californian, what it's been like being a Californian. And we're going to talk about celibacy. Oh, double C, double C, California celibacy. Um, you know, it's let's, let's not celebrate too. Don't get too happy about this right now. You know, it's been it's been a trip. So let's let's talk about California. Um, let's talk about California. You know, I, I I'm having a conversation with a friend who is from D.C. and it's a trip that you know if you if you don't know DC you don't know Oakland you don't you just know what you know your reality is where you grew up and not everyone travels all over the globe and whatnot so it's it's always a trip and even recently talking to people who are not from California and you know explaining to them that you know in any 360 degree, you know, in any direction, you're, you're just, you're rolling towards awesomeness because you got the mountains, you got the Yosemite parks, the national parks, you got amazing hikes just in your backyard. You have the beach, you have more hikes, you got the Pacific Coast Highway. I mean, you got palm trees, you got gorgeous women, gorgeous women. Um, and it just, I mean, it's a great place to be, but what's a trip is, you know, I didn't get it. I didn't get it until I had this conversation with someone about, you know, how it's not the norm to see, uh, you know, a lot of uh, a melting pot. Like what, that's what California is. It's, it's a bunch of everybody's here, all nationalities. So, um, me being from Northern California, and then coming to Southern California, you know, I've, I've always, you know, all my friends are all nationalities, L- literally all of them. There's no one group of people I'd like to be around at one time in the first place. You know, I almost said a curse word. Oh, <laughs> I don't care what it is. <laughs> humans are humans. But um, so that's not uh, the norm for, you know, different Parts of, uh, you know, states, you know, so it's a trip that that's the norm for me. I'm used to it. I love it. I take advantage of it. I love talking to people um, and I make friends from all walks of life. So California, I think it, it just adds to it with the weather and people are really positive. I mean, I, I hear folks say a lot of things, a lot of generalized Things about California, you know, L- L.A. is this and L.A. is this. It's like you went to Disneyland. How are you going to call that L.A.? That's not L.A. That's Disneyland. You know, it's like, dude, oh, yeah, I went to L.A. I didn't like it. You went to Hollywood Boulevard. That is not L.A. Do you know how big Los Angeles County is? How I, how, how many cities that covers? You got the Valley. You got Marina Del Rey. You got Redondo Beach. You got uh, uh, Canoga Park. You got you got cities. People don't, you know, that's what I realized. A lot of people who are from here don't really go too far from their, you know, their their city, you know. I guess because of the driving. But if you plan your route, you can get around L.A. I mean, I've driven from Sepulveda, like from Long Beach to the valley. I'm not kidding you. When I first moved here, I saw how terrible the four or five was. And I was like, you know what? (sighs) Whatever, man. So I, I get on this road and it's Sepulveda and I'm just rolling. Sepulveda is just like. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm passing through all kinds of cities here. How how far does this go? I ended up, you know, I don't remember how far. I think it was, what's the city? Uh, 
Ventura County or something. I passed through Ventura and I was halfway home, like to uh, Northridge. So yeah, um, you can avoid, you can get around the city if you if you plan it out. And but you got to plan it out. That's it. I, I like I said on the podcast um, over the weekend, um, I ran across a car dealership asking him, you know, how many cars he sold. He's, he didn't bat an eye. He's like, oh, about ten thousand a month. I'm like. What? I believe you. I believe you. That's sick. People, you don't need to drive in L.A. if you don't have to. You know, ride a bike. I have a bicycle and a car, but, you know, if... And I used to have a scooter until, you know, Chris Moody bumped into my scooter and I had... Oh, yeah. If you know a guy by the name of Chris Moody, tell him he owes me some money. And I haven't forgot, dude, you, you trash my scooter. I ended up losing it. And, uh, it's the Cali classic, man. And I miss it. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna hold you to your word. Hope I have to find you brother. Seriously. I'm, I'm serious, man. I'm so serious, brother. All right. So, but that's how, that's how I am. You know, I, I give everybody a chance. I think everybody has the right to prove themselves to be, you know, who they say they're going to be, you know, I, I, oh, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. I still got to talk about celibacy. We, we got time here. Um, today, today marks the, I don't, I, I think it was the 26, but it's still the, the lingering part of the, what I was going through when I was making this deciding factor that I could not return back to the place that was making me sick. And that was my day job. Literally, it was it was making me sick. The doctor's like, dude, you got asthma, you know, your eyes. You know, I don't know what's going on with your eyes. Never heard of that condition. I'm like, what? You know, stressed, muscle spasms, can't sleep, can't eat food, can't keep it in my system. I was sick. So it came down to, you know, do I turn down this this great pay, this, you know, this cool gig that I've had for a while? And do I, you know, follow follow my path? And hey, it feels awesome. In two years, oh my God, in two years, there's gonna be a book. There's gonna be an e-series about my life for the past two years in LA with no job, no job. It's not like I wasn't looking for a job. That's the whole thing. You got to listen to the series and really see how everything evolved from my time of going on to medical leave to all the conundrum that I went through in California. Woo. It's going to, and those, those of you who, who know this, who know part, who's been in my life over the past two years, if you're listening to this, you know what I'm about to be talking about. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I'm getting, this is me excited, people. This is me excited. If you're just tuning in or, or you just, you know, you, you forgot what you were listening to, this is the Intelligent Human Voice Podcast Network. And we just getting started. I'm still in the dark. I got a little light. From a camera, and uh, but oh, I found an awesome space where I'm gonna set up shop. I, I have to flip the coin though, you know, on where I want to locate because I have a, I have options. So I'm either looking at Santa Monica or Culver City. I love Culver City. Santa Monica is busy, but I like Santa Monica too. I just don't. It's it's just a little busier than I want to be around, you know. And since I'm working in Culver City now, uh, yeah. So that's what's up. What else? What else? What else? We're we gonna talk about. Oh goodness gracious, celibacy. Ah, oh, I do. I want to talk about this. I don't know, but I said I would, so I have to. Okay, all right. You talked me into it. Celibacy. You know, I've I've always practiced celibacy. I mean, let me let me go back a little a little further. So I've always had control over my sexuality when it comes to sexual intimacy. I've 
Oh, I was about to say I've never cheated on a girlfriend. It's not true. I cheated on this one girlfriend. I felt like manure. I felt like the scum of the earth. You know why? Who's calling? Dude, you can't be calling in the middle of the podcast. He might be listening. That was Zach. Uh, oh, dang. He lost my train of thought. Forgot what I was saying. What? <laughs> oh, I forgot what I was saying. You guys are going to have to remind me what I was saying. I was in some this guy's calling. Oh, man. This this is how the podcast go. This is the mobile podcast. That's what I'm saying. I have to get to shop so I can not be disrupted. I can turn the volume off. I can plug the music in. But this is the learning experience. That's why you got to come on board. You have to join the network with me so I can teach you how to start your own podcast. And I'm getting off subject. I'm going to get back on because I was trying to remember what I was. Oh, it was good, too. It was good. I'm going to have to choke Zach when I see him. Whoo. All right. Let's see. I uh, might have been at the door. Anyway, I'm, I'm, in, I'm on a mission. Celibacy. I was going to say that. I, um, oh, that I never cheated. Oh, the one that I cheated on. Oh, yeah, I felt like crap. Oh, this was, this, that's what I was saying. Uh, yeah, the girl that I cheated with, she, here's the thing. The, the girl that I cheated on, far more attractive. And, and it's the truth. It was a coworker and she got me drunk. She got me drunk at a, at a company party and took advantage of a brother, took advantage of a brother. She always wanted, I know it. I know, I knew it. But I was weak. I was weak. She might even blew some weed in my face and, you know, um, yeah, but I feel like crap. I, I didn't, you know, I didn't deny it. And I was like, look, she got me drunk, took advantage of me. I didn't enjoy it. Not one minute. I was like, look at her. I mean, look at this chick. Look at, look at her. Now look at you. Look at her. Look at you. She's like, I have looked at her. I'm disgusted. I was like, I'm more disgusted than you. I am more disgusted than you. That is for sure. Oh gosh. So I say all that to say that. When you got it good, you got it good. When I've had it good, I have no reason to cheat at all. And in between girlfriends, I just felt like I just didn't like now. It's been it's been about maybe three years. I broke up. Dude, what is this guy doing? I broke up with my girlfriend three years ago. Wait till I talk to this guy and be like, dude, you interrupted my podcast. I'm in the bathroom with the awesome echo and you're, you're interrupting my podcast. Jeez. So, yeah, I broke up with my girlfriend three years ago and, you know, it, it was. I won't go into why I broke up with her, but it happened. And uh, after that, I was like, you know, I. I Oh, well, I'll touch bases on it. part of the reason why I broke up with her was because I was going through something with the job I was talking about. And sometimes a brother just wants want to come home and he, he, he wants he wants he wants to be able to, you know, I had a word for it, uh, you know. Just, just hear, just hear him out. Just, you know, you gotta be listening. And this girl wasn't listening. I was like, you know, I, you know, I give you some good loving. I give you some good attention. I give you massage. I cook for you. I bake the awesome cookies for you, you know, and all I ask is for you to hear my woes. If I come home and I woe, you just need to pay attention to my woe. That's it. How hard is that to ask for? So, yeah, 
she would come over and she's on the phone texting and doing stuff. I'm like, yo, what, what's, I mean, what is this? If I got to tell you how to behave, yeah, behave. You come over to the Pat Cave to give the Pat Man some loving. There's no texting. There's no texting. I mean, the, your attention should be right here because I'm right here. Otherwise, you could have stayed at home and text or stayed in your car and text. And obviously, if the thing that's more important that you're texting to is more important than the person in front of you, well, by golly, go, go with that. Roll with that and keep rolling, sister. So I had to let her go. There were other reasons, but, you know, since then, I just have had no urge to uh, indulge in any sexual behavior. I'm too focused on, on, on the goal and sex and, and masturbation. That stuff can be, you know, it, it can kind of mess you up. It can mess you up. Didn't mess me up. I just, it's like cold turkey. I just, I was like, I didn't, I didn't want to do anything. I was like, I'm too focused. I, I've never had this amount of focus before in my life. And then I went through something and I got the focus. So I'm on some extra super sensory. Whoa! I'm, I'm on one right now. I got nothing distracting me. No cat, no dog, no kid, no wifey, no girlfriend, no drugs, no, no bad habits. <laughs> no bad habits. I have absolutely nothing distracting me right now. Nothing. I don't watch TV. I don't watch TV anyway. I watch my superhero stuff, of course. I mean, come on. But, uh, yeah, no television in the dark, doing podcasts in the bathroom. Thank God the water still runs. Otherwise, I might have gone crazy. Water's still hot. It's giving me time to pack in the dark, throw stuff away. I got a lot of clothes. So that's I'm over my time, but that's my take on celibacy. I mean, it's 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 no big deal. If you if you do start with baby steps, you know, five days, two days, ten days, twenty days, a month, two months, next after as long as you stay off of Instagram or any kind of porn site, you'll be okay. And as long as you're not like around, you can't go out. You can't go out partying and clubbing because especially the chicks here in L.A., they dress so provocative in certain parts. I mean, if you happen to go to Beverly Hills, you'll see more sexy provocative than you do in downtown or Pasadena. Actually, I haven't been to Pasadena in a while, but definitely in uh, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills. I was like, my God, what what what's going on here? All I see is booty. Booty to the left of me. Booty to the right of me. Everywhere I see, there is booty. <laughs> this is the Intelligent Human Voice Podcast Network. I'm your host, the Pat Man. From the Bay to LA and beyond, I hope you have entertained yourself. I was aiming to edutain you, but, you know, whatever. Stay tuned next when I talk about I don't know. <laughs> it's it's true. I don't know. 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 I don't know.